trying to represent the diaspora and make people proud out here that are away from their home? It's a great start of my day. This man is ready, man. I didn't even tell him the question before. This man is ready. I love it. Easy going world. Welcome back to the Maddiest. The name I chose is Stadius. See, I got my Lucy shirt on today because I'm representing the culture. It's Ethiopian Cultural Day right now here at ESFNA Dallas 2023. So since we're in the spirit of love, positivity, and change, I'm gonna be asking people what kind of change they can make to Ethiopia or Ethiopians globally. Let's see what the people got to say today. Cause it's been a little bit of a struggle, but I believe in my people. We're smart, we love ourselves, and we love our country. All right, let's do it. All right, so what's your name and where are you from? Paco Sando, I'm Ghanaian. My name is Tommy, I'm from LA. Okay, my name is Ade Aragi, it's Ade Maraki, and I uh, live in Maryland. I'm in the DMV area. The question I'm, I'm asking actually has to do with Ethiopia, but I'm all about one Africa. So how do you plan on uh, impacting Ghana, or Ghana, Ghanaians globally? So my company is called Mazizi. We make jerseys celebrating all African countries. Right now, our designers who make all the designs are both in Accra, um, employing the youth back home. We're looking to actually start manufacturing back home and it's providing jobs for those. Um, but yeah, man, trying to represent the diaspora and make people proud out here that are away from their home. All right, Thomas, so how do you plan on impacting Ethiopia? Say that again? <laughs> how do you plan on impacting Ethiopia? Oh, that's, that's a really good question. Going back home, I'm a creative guy, so uh, I want to go back home, do a lot of travel videos, and I want to get involved in the films. How do I plan to impact? Well, I think the first thing is uh, I believe in doing my share, right? So my share, what is my share? It's dependent upon what my purpose is, what skills do I have, what do I have to offer, how can I bring value to my community both locally and globally? So, oh, so you kind of me to my next question is like how do you plan on impacting Ethiopians globally because you know we're, we're all over now the diaspora true that's fact so for me I believe that media is a very like important medium um, and sometimes I feel that the medium uh, the media or mainstream media doesn't really depict uh, you know Africa in general yeah. and um, it's not about positive it's just inaccurate mm, uh, well I do travel vlogs travel videos so uh, I'm not there yet, but I'm on my way uh, to make it to the top. So hope that's going to help. I'll tell you, this guy's humble, man. I checked out his Instagram. He's out there on Instagram. Uh, my, the name of my channel is Nomadia, so that's exactly what I do. I, mean, I try to go to Ethiopia as much as I can and, and change the narrative about what people think about Ethiopia. Mostly inaccurate or in a very, like, uh, it's always negative. It's about war. It's about this. But there's so much going on on that continent, and I feel that... Uh, if I can contribute to the areas that I'm like familiar with, that I know and have some understanding, then I could be like that ambassador or messenger for the area that I'm from representing. And, and, I'm, and I'm doing it right now. I think um, I'm with Most of Times. So we just published our online magazine, mostoftimes.com. Uh, it's about things about the Ethiopian diaspora and different topics that impact locally and globally. Um, our people. It's a great start of my day. This man is ready, man. I didn't even tell him the question before. This man is ready. I love it. The other thing I want to ask you, so is like, what steps do you need to take to create that impact? If you're creative, uh, the very first thing you need to do is um, get on social medias. Go out there, uh, expose yourself, post a lot of videos consistently on YouTube and the TikTok. Right now, TikTok is the hottest. So if you utilize that the right way, then you could become, um, you can get to, to your position. You know what I mean? So in that way, you can um, people can get to see you back home here and abroad, and uh, you can influence a lot of people. Man, I love that. Thank you so much, Thomas. Much love and respect, bro. I think the biggest thing is like getting in those communities, being able to speak with people, hear their thoughts, their their concerns, um, what they even care about and like. 
And then once you get to know them, you start being able to realize, okay, this is where I can make the most impact because I know that I have this much information to work off of now. Um, but yeah, bro, just talking to people, literally, and find out what they like, don't like, and then from there, just move forward. And would you say promotion too? Oh, of course. You got to represent out here, baby. What you mean? If you saw in my last video, he got me promoted in his merch because I won, I won his shirt during a dance competition. Hey, a little scuzz you know, we out here. And my last question, what does Mizizi mean? It means roots in Swahili. Roots? Roots. Roots. Okay, I love it, man. I love it. Well, thank you so much, man. We're going to keep spreading. We're going to keep spreading our Mizizi. Show them what's up. This is a Mizizi shop across all platforms. The website is mizizishop.com. So I believe that I know there's so much emphasis on building your personal brand, but for me, this I have my personal brand, right? That the things that I'm very like into and and you know that are personal to me. But when I did most of times, it came from a place about like trying to address things in the mainstream media that I felt were not not clear, not accurate, were very biased. So that's the thing that I want to even when I present something, I want to present all of those different sides to the best of my ability using like quality content quality graphics quality video you know and then like how we connect to the the global uh, uh the world and different people and different cultures culture is a very important part of our community so i definitely you know i'm working on making those connections speaking of culture you have a very cultural clothing on could you tell us real quick what you're wearing and where it's from yeah, it's uh, Dria no Mi Balo, and uh, even though, okay, so I, this is from Afar, okay? Uh, Afar, uh, are they're like, they're all over, right? Because they're nomadic people, so this one, the Afar clothes that I got was a gift from Wallo, you know, like that Wallo Afar, but there's Afar all going all the way up north, Iska Eritradas, uh, and then even going south, Somali, I mean Harar, all these people wear this kind of clothes because, because of the heat. And I think it, it really helped me out today because the climate here is very similar to that. I mean, speaking of Afar, you see the shirt I got out on right now, my Lucy shirt. Lucy was uh, originates in the Afar depression of Ethiopia, so this is perfect divine timing. So thank you so much that I much love and respect. So what's your name? Where are you from? My name is uh, Theodore Mamo. I'm from <laughs> I'm from Los Angeles. Are you sure your name is not Tedros? Okay, sure, sure. Bengali uh, I because I'm interviewing in English, you know, that's how I introduce myself. Yes, my name is Theodros. My name is Yamana. I'm from Seattle, Washington. My name is Sion. I'm from Chicago. So, uh, Tedros, how do you plan on impacting Ethiopia? So, how do you plan on impacting Ethiopians globally? I mean, first off, you got this beautiful shirt on, I compliment you on, Fire, Adidas, Ethiopia merch. But yeah, so how do you plan on impacting Ethiopians? How do you plan on impacting Ethiopia? As someone a part of the Ethiopian diaspora, I feel like events like Ispana, where we gather our community and, you know, underlie for good, you know? I think these impact our community globally because this gets us here, gets us talking, gets us dancing, singing together. And then we can go in turn and express that love and unity back home. Uh, it's not about plan. I mean, we, whether we know it or we don't, we're impacting Ethiopia in a different way in every day. Because look, look at you. Try to get every race in Ethiopia united as one to show some love to, to grow. Right now, we don't have that. That's the uh, biggest failure that we have. So m my goal is to have every race united to grow Ethiopia to be the, the best nation in the world. That's all. Well, wouldn't you say we're all one race anyways? Uh, you're born and raised in this country, and you ask me a question, how we're impacting Ethiopia. This is, this is what impacting Ethiopia means. So it shows you are raised uh, to, uh, to think beyond uh, how you grow up here beyond uh, your uh, your American, but you still think of uh, Ethiopia maybe more than uh, uh, more than the uh, the the diaspora. You're a first generation, so we're impacting Ethiopia by having uh, a first generation like you who can connect 
from the motherland in every possible way. So, uh, Dad, well, in that case, since we are have... You, are you revealing that I'm your dad now? Yes, 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 okay, yes, yes, it's okay, a reveal. It's official now. It's official, guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> so how, how, how do you plan on in, impacting Ethiopians globally? Because, you know, in, in today's world, we're so spread out and we're not just in Ethiopia. Well, uh, Ethiopia is, uh, is, is a, it's a, it's a renaissance. I mean, it's global already. Ethiopia is uh, in the map of the world, the globe, for uh, many, many years ago, before many countries. Yeah. So we all, uh, uh, still the future, the, the Ethiopia glory is coming. And the, gener the uh, new generation like you, uh, are the future possibly changing the country too? So, what steps do you need to take to create your impact? Right here, they, there's, 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 there's an impact that's right here. Ethiopian tournament is the impact to show unity. That's why we start. Everybody, everybody get together, show everybody that we're one. So, the Ethiopia ESFNA has been there for 40 years. That's what we need to do every day to make Ethiopia better. I think. Uh, personally, as somebody of the diaspora, I think it's really important to go back home. And you go back home often? I mean, I was just there for like six months. Okay. Okay. What were you doing there? Nothing really. I was just chilling with my grandparents and, you know, learning the culture and stuff. Where in Ethiopia? Mostly Addis because, you know. Were you born in, were you born in Ethiopia? I was born here. Chicago. Okay. Okay. I love it. So now, what is it? What steps does it? What steps do you need to take to create this impact? Like, for example, like you talked about, uh, you know, with me doing my, my thing for you, like what steps did you need to take or what steps do we need to, con to continue to, to, to take to create that impact? The, the, uh, to create that impact, we, we need leaders, leaders like you, who, who show the way. You, you took initiative on your own since high school. You've been back home many times. So you're still, you're still very focused. So we need leaders, people like you showing the way for the first generation uh, first generation how how to take them back home how to uh, to uh, unless they see unless they touch the feel they, they don't quite understand so it's about few of you it's about some le few leadership uh, uh, who, who need to start uh, to bring the, the first generation to back home and uh, with variety programs different programs Thank you so much, Dad. I love you. Is there any message you have to say to my YouTube? Hey, you know, uh, you're you're very busy guy. You have uh, you have your life, you have uh, your education, your career. But on the side, the, the fact that your your dedication to do this this program, you know, for example, you're here at the tournament. Everybody's having a good time, walking around, things like that. But you. You, I see you, you prepare, you come with your video, you get your involved, your brother. All these little steps you're taking, it requires planning. It requires commitment. It's quite so all this adds up uh, very soon. So this is the path to success also. So I'm very proud of you and thank you so much, okay? Thank you so much, Dad. And I got my brother Iskas on camera. I love you guys so much. <laughs> All right, so what's your name and where are you from? Hi, my name is Meli Haile. I'm from Las Vegas, but I was born in Ethiopia. My name is Bron. I'm from Eritrea. I love that. There you go. My Eritrean brother right here. My name is Sarah Warku, and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Kadus, but they call me Mr. K, and I'm from Vegas. So how do you plan on impacting Eritrea? Because, you know, the question I'm asking is about Ethiopia, but we're all about one Africa here. I mean... I could probably try to help donations or anything to help refugees back home, stuff like that and that nature. I try to do it to my best ability, but I'm not going to lie, like, I don't, you know, like, I'm not heavy into it yet, but I do want to be a part of my culture and just spread out that, like, you know, there is Eritrean Americans that could do this and do that. It's like, you can make impact back home, but then even here, even here graduating and being, like, the first person in your family graduate yeah. stuff, it's like, it impacts because it goes all back to, you know, yeah. to our country. And stuff. So how do you plan on impacting Ethiopia? Ooh, that's a good question. I already started with a good one. I plan on impacting Ethiopia because on a way like, so I'm going to school for interior architecture. Where do you go to school? Uh, UNLV, University of Nevada, Las Vegas. And I plan to go back home and open up businesses back home, not to only 
Im like improve Ethiopia as a country, but to bring people more jobs and just make sh just make sure like Ethiopia is like growing as a nation as well. That's how much I love Ethiopia. Personally, I do plan on going back home, um, probably helping my mom out uh, with her restaurant. She wants to open a brand new restaurant, you know, give out a little bit. Um, obviously, you can't make a restaurant and then give everything out for free because there would be like no way of making the food and stuff like that. So probably like probably like most of the profits stuff like that. And she did want to make elderly homes. I feel like there's a misconception that Ethiopia is like needs help from you know other people because it's poor and um, there's just a lot of war going on. But I truly feel like Ethiopia is one of the most beautiful countries in the world, and it doesn't need much help. It doesn't need like much impact because it's already thriving. You know. Um, God protects Ethiopia and loves Ethiopia so much. It's mentioned in the Bible over six times. So first, I want to break the stigma that Ethiopia needs help in general. But as an Ethiopian, I would like to help and impact Ethiopia by using my resources that I get, you know, from this country and from my education and just trying um, my best to break the tribalism war going on. I feel like our country is better when it's united and the people are united like this is so beautiful just seeing everyone from all over Ethiopia be like connected so in that sense like how do you plan on impacting Ethiopians globally because we're all we're all over I mean look at us all here we're just a diaspora in the, here in Dallas alone you're right um now, I see you with your camera of course uh, obviously camera is one step you, you usually do photography for everybody in general but, you know, giving recognition to Ethiopian photographers and stuff like that, there's a lot of us, especially during grass season, it's crazy. Especially in Vegas, I swear to God, it's crazy in Vegas. And then, like, globally, discuss in terms how everybody's equal no matter where you're from. Just a discussion can help out a lot just from where you're at. It doesn't even matter if you're in London or, like, Antarctica. It really don't matter. I plan on making everybody proud. As Ethiopians, we're very proud of who we are, and I plan to make a legacy of my name. So, like, what steps do you need to take to create that impact that you talked about at first? Probably leaders in the community. Need leaders to, you know, help us, like, help back home. You know, if I have people, if I have resources to give back back home, then it's like, you know, I could, I could be a positive impact on the community. So, so what steps do you need to take to create that impact? This interview. We're talking right now, discussing these facts. It, it helps. People is going to see this. You know, information, things like that is, is going to spread. And we keep talking, keep doing our best. It's going to work. Man, I love that. Thank you so much, bro. Mr. K, I appreciate you, man. Much love and respect. So what steps do you need to take to create your impact? Uh, to create my impact, I need to focus on school. My parents made the journey all the way to America because they wanted me to make wealth for myself and my future family as well. So the impact I'm going to take is go to school, focus on school, um, and slowly start my business and everything. Thank you so much, Sarah. Much love and respect to you. Thank you. What steps do you need to take to create your impact? To create unity? I feel like unity comes from love. So yeah. just showing each other love, like no matter where you're from in Ethiopia, no matter what language you speak, um, yeah, just creating love, first of all. And then second off, using your education to, you know, help Ethiopia, whether it's with money, whether it's, you know, helping charities, but uniting, not picking and choosing who you help, not choosing to, you know, help a certain tribe because they resonate with your tribe, but helping Ethiopia as a whole. And that's how we end the rest of the night. As she mentioned, it's all about love, and, you know, love starts with yourself. And when it comes to making change, you got to change yourself before you change the world. So thank you so much, y'all, for watching. And Nomadius, out.